What's up, everybody? Effortless Roller here. So, we got a request about sewing the birds before I fly them. These right here are my hens. There are a few birds in here that I would have to hand toss. That one right there. And the recessive red grizzle that's hiding behind the other birds. The reason why I have to hand toss these two is if they commit to the roll, they're deeper birds, so they get a little bit dangerous. So I started hand tossing them. Some people hate that. I don't mind it. Because um, you know, there's only two of them. But when there's more than that, then I think I might have to try the crate, crate deal. But let's, let's get them. Let's get them. Let's get them. Alright. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. A few of them already shot up. Right there. Alright. A few of them are already shot up. So. Time to get them out. Come on, girls. Alrighty. I got one in here that's starting to get super duper deep. That young bird right there. She can get dangerously. Dangerously deep. But yeah, you know, I got to wait for them to get up a little bit higher. This is the bird. I'm actually thinking about stalking this girl right here. Oh my God. She's actually got a really good spin on her. Oh my goodness. You see her when she gets up? This girl got rocket. And this is still too low because she is deep. I don't want her bouncing on me. Um, coming in, she don't bounce, but, you know, when going up, I guess, when they're trying to, uh, elevate, you know, then she, it's dangerous. Let's go! Boom! Right there. Oh, see. Get in there, girl. Get in there. I want her right in the kit. Right there. She's right there. Always behind the tree, man. <laughs> I swear. Always behind the tree. That tree never lets me down. Uh, I guess if I have the judge here, he's going to be standing in front there. Okay, my girls. There you go. Oof. I told you she gets deep. Now, I'm going to actually give them some proteins after today's fly. Because tomorrow, I don't think I have... Maybe I can fly them tomorrow, but... Oh, shit. Look at that. The bird said, F you. They didn't care. Look at them. They're still rolling up there. Guys, so we talk, I talked about this quite a bit. This family of birds will work it. And what I tell you, they will roll like this, even if there's bird of prey around. And that's why in the city, I lose so many. Because this, honestly, I've watched so many of my birds roll and they get hit as soon as they hit that roll. I've seen them roll when they get chased. And like I said, you know, I'm still deciding if that's a trait I like or not. But I'd rather see that a bird get taken in the roll than a bird get, you know, go into survivor mode. And then they don't roll for who knows how many days because they're just straight up scared. Um, you know, so I've been thinking about it and I figured I'd rather see a bird roll get snatched up. And they continue to still roll versus, you know, birds that get scared and they'll fly scared for like three, four days, you know. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, I, I think with this, I just got to tweak up the, um, the feed and I think the birds will 
start committing to the role. I think right now what the issue is is that um, I'm not really pushing them <laughs> to roll. I'm just feeding them to fly because that's all I got time for right now is just putting them up to fly. 